Hi everyone, it's Rosemary here with 505 Crafts here on YouTube. Hello! And I'm here with the DT project for Alicia's Glitz and More, which is her exhibit store and also her YouTube name. And here on the back of this little thingy that I have with my name, there is her website and of course I always put the link in the back. And you guys could find it again under Elisa's Glitz and More or under Metal Kits. And so this month, Alicia had sent me a pack that was the bot Botanical Garden. And it's supposed to imitate like using the Graphic 45 Botanical Tea. So she, she tries to make kits so they um, kind of mesh together and you could use them with the paper packs, especially Graphic 45 because they're so popular right now. So you guys go on over to her channel as well. And her exhibit store, she's still having a sale. And then she's also having a birthday giveaway and a bunch of other things on her, her YouTube. And I will also put the link below to that as well. So I decided to go in a different direction. And I made a little coin purse. It's so vintage, like shabby chic. Oh my god, my hand's going to get stuck. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I just love it. So she has this beautiful lace on her in her shop and it's in one of the kits. And what I did is I mixed some of my old stuff from the other previous kits cuz she sends so much when you're a DT. And then she had sent this ribbon and this bird and the butterfly. So I decided to incorporate them and then just make like a uh, like a set of flowers, the metal ones, and then put those ones in the middle too cuz she sends you the resins as well and then the leaves. And I thought, "Oh, it just looks so shabby. I just love it." And then I added this little trim to be like a dangle, but it's not really to hold it up because this is what happens. <laughs> so, what I thought about is I want to find some flowers, some like really pretty vintage flowers and put them in here kind of hanging out and do it like a wall hanging. I thought that would be really awesome. So that's my first project and so since I did this little small one and I was like oh that came out cute I like it. Or you could just pull these off the, the little beads on the sides and then you could use it in your purse and use it as a coin purse. So I thought that was really cute and it's really shabby. And then going on to my next piece. And the next item. Oh my god, I'm so in love with it. But it's not mine. It's for a gift. I bought this canvas bag at Walmart for $3. And it's white. And so these actually are all the laces from previous kits. Plus the newest kit that she had sent me. And I just kept layering upon layering each one. So you guys could see that I, I just kept on going and I used creams, pinks, whites, and I still think I need some flat back, flat back pearls. I said a flat back, almost like a flack. Anyways, and then I used a trim here on the top and I just love how it looks. And of course, not only did I do it on that side, I did it on this one. And then I've been busy making flowers and I did this flower using one of her metal pieces and one of her resin pieces and these flowers are so easy to make. So I did the lace one, the white satin and then the pink satin and then I layered them on top and I just love the, the look. At first I wanted to do a dangle but you know metals sometimes rub and this is so light and pretty I didn't want to mess that up. And before I go on, these are my flowers I've been working on. So I just cut them out and then um, what I started doing was going to start layering them and adding pretty centers to them. And they just come out so cute. And it's just the way you gather them and make them. And I think I've done a video on this already. I should do a video on this one because it's so much easier. And while I'm watching a movie or something, I just did a quick stitch and I even used black and you could barely see it. So, um, I just love the way they look. Let me see where's another purple one. See, and it looks chunky and then you put a beautiful center in the middle. It's just, oh my god, they come out so pretty and so easy to make. And so... That's what I did with that flower. I used three different ones and just layered that. And then guess what? Bam! 
I did the back. You know me, I gotta finish the back. So, so, I, I met up the, with the girls, I'm all so, so, I hate when I do that, or when you start a sentence with, so, anyways, I'm just talking to myself, anyways, um, what I did, I wanted to make it look like a corset with that pretty lace that she had sent me, and then I had this beautiful satin ribbon, and then I added some pearls, like if the, they were like the grommets, and then she had sent me also this like really pretty thin lace and then on the bottom I finished it with this one and then you could also see the one in the back and I just love 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 the way it came out because it's reversible if you feel like being sexy shabby you use it this way and if not you turn it around and you use it the other way and I think either way that you hold the bag is so cute and so fun I just love it so Alicia, I hope you love this and I hope you're, uh, you guys are inspired to make one of your own and I hope you guys share that video with me and let me know that you guys did one as well. And please head on over to Alicia's Glitz and More on Zibit and go check out those kits. You guys will not regret it. I promise she has some beautiful, fabulous stuff and you're not going to leave out there for empty handed at all. And again, go on over to Alicia's uh, YouTube and wish her a happy birthday. It's coming up soon, so I need to get busy and making her something yummy. She might just get this. Don't tell her. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.